I'm going to show you how to change the API version of a flow. For example, if you deploy a flow from a one org to another, the you need to change the API version. You might have the higher API version in the lower sandbox, and if you um, move to the higher sandbox, it is uh, maybe one level behind. So what you do is you go to a flow where you want to deploy or change API version. You click the view properties here, and then you get the flow label and API name and description. You click show advanced here. Um, scroll down, it's kind of a hidden. Right now it is 59. If you want to change to 58, um, the reason uh, I suggest is this doing is sometimes you get um, deployment errors. If you deploy, then you have to come back. You have to change the uh, API version to match the higher org uh, API version and save. And very important, uh, you have to uh, uh, create a new um, version. If you go down here, it is 58. So you can activate if you want. And it's very important if you deploy to a higher region, ensure that the, the latest version is active. It, usually it's not active uh, after the deployment in the production. Um, I observed if you deploy your active version to another sandbox, it gets you, but if you deploy to a production, you have to manually activate the latest version. So not many people do that. So they run into bugs because the latest version in the production is not active. It's very important the, what I said in the last uh, 30 seconds, activate the latest version or ensure if it is active in the higher org after the deployment of a flow. Thank you.